I haven't been recording any videos recently. If you're one of the very few people that actually keeps up with my vlog and what's going on with me, um, I recently decided that I would quit. Well, the whole wage slavery situation that I found myself in um, and pursue I want to I want, I want to actually live my life the way that I want to live it I'm I'm a musician I'm an artist and I got so sick of every day being judged and every day being forced to do just stupid shit constantly. Anyway, it's awful. I mean, anyone who's worked in retail knows what I'm talking about. It's fucking awful. So, I quit that and it's taken me a while to recover. So, for anyone who cares, I'm sorry. I have shot a couple of videos, but I didn't actually make them up. Um, so, a few updates, obviously. I've dyed my hair black, um, and I've gotten some delicious dread extensions that are in different colors here, as you can see. Um, Primarily sort of green and this uh, swamp witch green, which I absolutely love. Um, we've got a few colored tips and things. You know, I tried to get a real spoopy color situation going on. Um, I think I did okay. Uh, but yeah. And um, I've been studying to get my certifications for cybersecurity. So, unfortunately, uh, I have to have some kind of job in society, right? I have to, I have to provide something, and uh, cybersecurity is fun. I mean, I don't hate it. It's hard. There's a lot of things that I don't understand. I mean, I have very little practice programming. Oh, and of course, yes, just for longevity of whatever. So currently, in case anybody's watching this out of context or wasn't around in 2020, um, so right now in the state of Texas, it is law that you have to wear a mask in public spaces. I just, I think it's a good idea to do so. Um, just wear the fucking mask. So I'm sorry if the audio is a bit muffled. Um, I'm going to do so. Um, more just for... <sighs> Not a very good anarchist if I'm just following the rules to follow the rules, right? But I'm setting an example by acting the way that I... Oh, is it... Yeah, setting an example. That works. Oh! Bunches of ants. Bunches of ants. So yes, we've been dealing with uh, several things at the house that um, have been quite uh, an issue. Um, we had, so our household is vegan, and we don't like to kill insects at all. What's in here? Oh look, agarita bushes! Um, so, we had a bit of an ant infestation, and for about a month or so, we were physically capturing and releasing every single ant that we found. That was... It was a lot. And there was a period of time where I was just sitting at my desk in my computer lab, um, studying, and my partner was over to the side and I came across YouTube and decided to watch some videos and relax and there was a horror 
something or other, like the scariest game or the scariest movie or some nonsense, I can hardly remember what it was. I clicked on it, there was some fantastic ambient music, really set the mood, and then all of a sudden I hear my partner scream, Hella! Look! And on my arm were a couple of ants, and I, I, they just sort of backed up. I looked down beneath me, and there were a decent amount of ants on the floor, and I looked up, and on the ceiling, there were, cause 30, 40 ants. <laughs> Crawling everywhere while that dark, ambient stuff was playing. It was like being in the middle of some kind of horror movie for a short instance. Obviously not the most horrifying thing I've ever been through, but it was certainly interesting, to say the least. Um, so, along with that, I also hurt my back really badly. Um, not entirely sure how, but I did. And in having done so, I've just kind of been out of it. Um, so I haven't, I haven't really been keeping up a lot with my art so much. I haven't really been uh, keeping up with my music. I've just been studying and trying to recover. Um, so here I am, back again. I'm going to try not to step on anybody's home. We try to be very, uh, very polite to those who have passed. Although some of these gravestones are just gorgeous, don't you think? At any rate, so, um, what I really wanted to talk about today was something that's been on my mind quite a bit. Um, so about a year ago, not quite a year, I'm, uh, maybe about, mm, yeah, just about, I don't know, I'll have to actually look and see, but about a year ago, I shot a video, um, and I was talking about finasteride and male pattern baldness. No, to anybody who does not, uh, does not know, or can't tell, it's not obvious. <gasps> oh no! Isn't that tragic? Isn't that just tragic? Hmm. So, I am a trans woman, and I suffered male pattern baldness. Um, the men in my family are typically cue balls, and the women in my family have very thin hair, for the most part. So, living for, was it, 28, 29 years, uh, with testosterone flowing through my body, you could imagine I did not have a whole lot of hair left on the top of my head. And I hated it. I hated every second of it. There were a few instances where I tried my best to uh, live with it. Um, and I do find it attractive, okay? So when it comes to men, I think bald men are sexy. I think I've said that before. I think that there are a lot of women who will agree with me. Bald men are sexy. Balding men are sexy. When it's just starting to go, it's sexy. When it's long on the sides and bald on the top, it's sexy. That's my opinion. I like it. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. A gothic man with a bald head and long hair on the side embraces it. Yum. Riff raff. Yum. But that's my taste, right? Not for me. So... Let's see, about a year and a half ago, I started taking finasteride, and a little bit less than a year ago, I started putting minoxidil in my head as well. Um, there is a video about that. I could probably put a link somewhere. If they let me have an annotization, or what, what do you call those things, the, where you have a floating video or a picture kind of thing, if I can put a link here, I will, just right here, in this period here, um, if you are interested in that kind of thing. Um, but I show where my hair had gotten to that point, just taking 
HRT and taking the finasteride and how it had begun to return. No, but I also made a few claims which were true at the time um, that basically uh, church bells, gorgeous, make me think of funerals. Um, so, uh, in terms of um, the side effects that they've had, um, there have been some updates that are a little bit TMI. Um, but, I figure, if I have already shared the other, I must do my do. Uh, oh, look at that! Would you look at that? Vargas has quite a nice gravestone. It looks like a place to sit as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very modern. Oh, oh, sunlight. Ew, ew, ew. Shade, shade. Finding shade. Finding shade quickly. Okay, shade, shade. So, I've finally gotten to the point where I don't wear wigs anymore. I don't cover up my hairline with cloths or bandages. The only time I wear a headband is to keep my hair out of my face. And as you can see, it's hot. It's Texas. In the summertime, it's hot. I'm sweating. I don't like it. I don't like it. And this, my hair is real thin and wispy and it gets in my face. And I'm trying to grow out this front bit and so I can have some bangs and cover up my massive forehead a little bit because I think that looks cute. Will it happen? We'll see. But, as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see from that angle, it's grown back quite a bit. It's still a little bit on the masculine side here and there, but it's gotten a lot thicker. A lot thicker. It's so much better. But I've also gotten to the point where I just don't care if I pass anymore or not. I don't care. I'm going to live my life for me. I'm going to do my thing. If people can tell that I'm trans, whoop de fucking do I started to do a bunch of things that were hyper-feminine, and it seemed that I, whether I passed as cis or not, I passed as a woman 90% of the time with my customers at my job. At least that's the way I started, I had interpreted it, you know, people called me ma'am, and her, and she, and all of that good stuff. So, I got there, I've been there, that was great, that was wonderful. Um, always afraid that when I do, and I wear what I like, when I express my inner obscurity, um, that it uh, androgenizes a lot of my features. <coughs> And not in a feminine way, that looks, makes me look more masculine. But you know what? That's okay. I am okay. I know what I am. I'm alright with that. That's fine. I like being me. So, anyway. Hmm. Seems that the sun's gone behind a cloud for a moment. So, my hair is growing back. Um, they say... I'm, I'm sure this has to do with the uh, estradiol and the spironolactone uh, combined with the finasteride and the minoxidil. Now, I do get the women's minoxidil 5% uh, in the Rogaine brand, because it's the foam. There's an off-brand at a store called HEB here in Kerrville. Um, well, all, all, all sorts of places in Texas, but specifically, this is, you know, I think this is its birthplace or something, I don't know, but anyway, that's the, um, that's the local shop that I use. I hate Walmart. I'll go there sometimes, but every time I go, I get a panic attack. So, back on topic, uh, the, I use Rogaine brand, I use the 5% and the foam. The foam dries quicker and it doesn't drip as much and it works. Even though it would be almost half the price if I used the local generic brand Minoxidil in the liquid form with the men's Minoxidil on it. Even though it would be so much cheaper. Um, it has a slightly different ingredient on the inside, and I'm not a chemist. 
and I read somewhere online that it the difference in chemicals makes facial hair grow more. Now, I'm not a chemist, as I've said. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how this shit works. Okay, but I'm pretty sure that the even the stuff that I am taking is causing my facial hair to continue to grow longer than it would otherwise. Because I've done a lot of laser treatments, and I'm still doing them, and we're getting... it's better. It's way better. But I expected it to be long gone by now, and so I think that has something to do with the medications. So, uh, it's a trade-off, right? A lot more pain, a lot more laser, a lot more shaving, but my head hair is coming back, so that's good, right? And in terms of sexual function, I had mentioned almost a year ago that I didn't have any trouble with erections or ejaculations or anything like that, which, uh, however, over time, it's, it's really it kind of... things change. Things are really change. I mean, I think a lot of this is just me coming to term with my own... gray aceness, I guess? And it may, it may have a lot to do with that, but I... I've noticed that it isn't... it just doesn't... Um... It doesn't, it doesn't, it occasionally will try to be, uh, I can't maintain erections, okay, that's, that's a thing, um, um, it's definitely a, um, oh look, so pretty, it's a very small place, but you can see it from here, ha ha, 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 I'm not really embarrassed about it, because I do intend to, um, when finances are available, um, and the time is right, I intend to have, uh, GRS, and so that will... It's not really a big deal. I'm not that type of an individual anyway. However, it... I, I will say that there is a danger in, uh, losing functionality. That that's not a joke that I thought I was maybe one of the ones or twos, the rare people that could use this set of drugs and not have that issue. Not that I cared, right? But I was wrong. It does cause sexual dysfunction, and as far as I understand, it's permanent. Totally worth it for me. Worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it. And of course it dies. So yes, if, if, you, if you wish to have that continue to function, then I would, I would seek a doctor's help. I would make sure that you say, well, okay, we're going to use small amounts. <gasps> oh, it's a little black squirrel. <gasps> Hello. Hi. Let's zoom in. So pretty. Looky there. We're hiding in the shadows. Shh. <laughs> so cute. Okay, we we won't bother them. <sighs> anyway, so yes. That's all I really wanted to say. Well. I guess I do have a hard time shutting up. But, anyway, so yes, about that. That's it, right? So, just if you're gonna take that stuff, be careful. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry I haven't been doing a whole lot of vlogs recently. I'm gonna try to be picking that back up again. Um, so, but there are a couple of other things. Oh, look at that. There's a cute little bench set up just over here on the corner. There's something tragic and destroyed about this area. There's something awful and just gorgeous about how awful it is. But little things like this. Ooh. Oh, ew. Sun's coming out again. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I've made a mistake. Um, anyway. 
So, I am looking into getting a better camera system for recording these videos because I'm not very good at making the audio function appropriately. Maybe I'll just get a, a shotgun mic that attaches to the phone and continue to use that, but the quality is low and all of that good shit. It's fine, right? I don't want to spend a lot of money, but... I might want to get a good camera just for myself, and I might use that camera to shoot more vlogs, but if I do that, it's no longer a vlog, is it? It's not a phone vlog, if it's not shot with a phone. So if I do that, I'm going to have to sort of rebrand things. But, I don't know, if anybody has an idea for a name, they can send me a message or a comment or something like that. That'd be nice. That'd be kind of helpful. Otherwise, I'll rack my brain and maybe something comes of it, maybe it won't. At any rate, um, so I am still working on coloring and finishing up the Valenstein Project, episode four. Okay, four, four. Um, and I've been really lazy about it because of aforementioned reasons. I've been really busy. I'm about halfway done with the coloring and animating. And the music is almost there, but there's parts that I don't like, so we're working on it, okay? Um, but I think it's going to be the last one in the style because I'm moving towards making digital art as opposed to doing it all on paper and then scanning it in and then having to fix it digitally anyway which is basically like having to redraw it on top of that. So, switching to digital, I think. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit longer, but I'll try to get that out as soon as possible. Um, also, in case you're unaware, I have a Ko-fi and I have a Patreon. Okay, um, you don't have to do them at all. You don't have to mess with it. Um, I had um, somebody buy me a couple of Kofi's, coffees, Kofi's, coffees. Is it coffee or is it Kofi? Somebody donated me some money on there and I had to refund it because my PayPal wasn't set up appropriately because I switched it over when I switched my name over for the transition, blah, blah, blah. That's fixed now. It's fine. You don't have to. You really don't have to, but if you do, um, there is going to be some extra things that you'll have access to. I'm going to try to make some delicious, fun stuff for uh, Patreon supporters and uh, little little good bits for the coffee things, coffee, coffee things. Um, some delicious little things for them. So if you do want to support me, I sincerely appreciate it. I'm really trying to not have to go back into the shitty workforce, so I understand a lot of people are in that situation, and I'm so sorry, and if you are, I'd understand if this is not something that you want to support, I am no way suggesting that you have to and in any way, but if you do, hey, yeah, throw me a couple bucks, that would be super, super sweet. Um, otherwise, you know, comments and likes are supposed to be nice, I mean, I really don't care about that shit, but I mean, like, I'm supposed to or whatever, but... I mean, I figure I cuss a lot, I talk about stupid shit, so YouTube probably doesn't like me at all. Anyway. Um, so, and I do, I do have a little side thing where I'm drawing adoptables, so if you want like a little, a little crazy Valentine's Laboratory Creations creature for yourself, they are for sale. Um, I oh, also keep dying. This was running out of space. Um, so I uh, will commission creations uh, for a slightly more of a fee than the ones that I would draw normally. They'll still be really, really cheap. But, you know, maybe that's a thing for Patreon supporters or for Kofi. Uh, so, whatever. Anyway, as per usual, I need to say I don't really care if you don't like it. Don't care. I'm doing this for myself. I want to do this. I'm doing this for me. It's something for me to look back on. I don't find it interesting or entertaining. I want to support people. Otherwise, I really don't care. I don't care. 